going on YouTube? wanted to do a video today on a polishing job I did on some American force wheels. These are 24 by 14s. They came to me in okay condition but needed cleaned up. Um, as you can see they're kind of hazy. Uh, had some small scratches and perfections things like that. Um, so my goal here was to do the least invasive method to you know give a, a good result. Okay I've seen videos of people wet sanding these wheels and then rotary buffing them. That was not my goal here. Um, you can see me try to lift these behemoths and about blow my lower back out. They're very heavy wheels. Um, so anyway I'm getting them up on the saw horses here makes for easy, uh, easier access uh, while doing the polishing job. So what I've decided to use is the green Rupes pad and the yellow Rupes pad. The green is going to be your medium cut. The yellow is going to be more of like a finishing uh, cut and the polish I'll be using is Blue Magic Metal Polish Cream. This stuff's only like seven or eight dollars uh, for a little tub of it. I did end up using basically a whole tub on all four wheels, um, but it is really good stuff. So first things first, I'm gonna remove the center cap from the wheel making it much easier uh, to polish when I'm working on that center section. The next I go over just with a cleaner, removing any debris or um, brake dust, dirt, things that are built up. This is a nano skin auto scrub mixture with water. Um, it's used for decontaminating paint when you're doing clay barring or uh, using an auto scrub pad going to be using my Rupes Bigfoot, um, I think it's the long throw, the LHR 21ES is the actual specific model as you can see there. Sorry I'm a little rusty on my terminology. Great buffer, is expensive, totally worth every penny. So first I just kind of work the product on you know small sections of the wheel, um, get it on there by hand and then I go back through uh, with the machine, um, I try to work like a crosshatch pattern I think is what the name is, um, going back and forth making sure you don't miss any areas. I have the speed set on 4 for this, um, seemed to work out pretty well. So once you make a couple passes, you're going to wipe it off. I usually use one or two microfibers just to make sure I get everything, um, you know, not leaving any residue behind. Going to repeat this same process on the center section of the wheel. I usually do about three spokes at a time, um, just kind of working my way around. So once I've completed the process with the green pad, um, I repeat this exact same process again with the yellow pad, uh, which I did not show in my video, but same process, just a different buffing pad.
then once it's all done I cleaned the wheel with soap and water completely dried it off um, and then I applied PNS bead maker for my protectant coating this stuff's really great produces a good shine and uh, great hydrophobic properties once the bead maker has been applied uh, typically says 24 hours is going to give you your finished product afterwards um, this is just showing the face of the wheel I had not cleaned the inside of the wheel yet um, but here's some shots of the front side of the wheel once polished and bead maker has been applied I think the results pretty dang good uh, considering we took the least evasive invasive approach and it wouldn't be a video without my dog Nelly hanging out in the garage she is a Pomeranian blue Merle with blue eyes love her to death Thanks for watching my video today guys, here's just a couple shots of the finished product. Hope you enjoyed it, if you have any questions feel free to leave those in the comments below. Have a great day.